Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie. I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we are going to discuss vitamin B12 deficiency. We will explore the signs, the symptoms and causes. We will then cover treatment based on our guideline in the UK. Coming right up. Vitamin B12 is a crucial nutrient um, commonly found in animal-based products such as meat, fish, dairy products and eggs. It is not present in fruits and vegetables, but certain foods and drinks are fortified with vitamin B12 such as breakfast cereal and marmite. Vitamin B12 is essential for central nervous function, red blood cell formation, and DNA synthesis. Vitamin B12 is bound to protein in food and is released during digestion. It combines to intrinsic factor, which is a protein released by the stomach, and is absorbed in the terminal ileum in the small intestine. Megaloblastic anemia is characterized by larger than normal red blood cell when MCV is more than 100 or macrocytosis. It has immature nuclei due to defective DNA synthesis. Pernicious anemia is an autoimmune disorder where the body produces autoantibodies against intrinsic factor or parietal cell that produce it. It is more common in women over the age of 50 or patients with autoimmune disease such as thyroid disorder or vitiligo. The signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency can be classified into three main categories. 1. Hematological such as macrocytosis, anemia, feeling faint, tiredness, weakness, palpitation and shortness of breath. 2. Neurological and psychiatric such as parathesia, peripheral neuropathy, memory disturbance, cognitive change, depression, headache and visual disturbance. 3. Gastrointestinal including loss of appetite, mouth ulcer, indigestion, angular chelosis, glossitis and loss of appetite. Vitamin B12 deficiency has many causes. 1. Inadequate intake, which is seen in strict vegans. 2. Malabsorption, which is more common and can be caused by pernicious anemia, long-term PPI use, alcoholism, gastrectomy and small bowel surgery, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, bacterial overgrowth and drugs such as metformin, rare causes such as nitrous oxide exposure. Pregnancy and oral contraceptive pill can cause altered B12 um, binding to um, protein in plasma, leading to borderline low level which may not indicate true vitamin B12 deficiency. When making diagnosis, the cutoff of vitamin B12 normal level and deficiencies can vary between methods and laboratories. Serum methylmalonic acid NMA level is the most sensitive marker of vitamin B12 status with elevated levels suggesting deficiency. Other investigations that can be useful including celiac screen and intrinsic factor antibodies and markers for other malabsorption including folic acid, ferritin, vitamin D and calcium. In principle, patients with significant neurological and hematological symptoms need to be treated promptly with parenteral vitamin B12. Intramuscular hydroxocobalamin has largely replaced oral cyanocobalamin due to its um, longer retention in the body lower cost and lack of the need to uh, monitor vitamin B12. Treatment for mild 
vitamin B12 deficiency level when the level is more than 150 is subject to a considerable debate. Options include repeated monitoring, oral treatment and monitoring, and intramuscular vitamin B12 um, injection every three months. Now let's have a breakdown of treatment options for vitamin B12 deficiency based on the vitamin B12 level. If vitamin B12 is more than 187, this is considered to be normal. If the patient has vitamin B12 level of less than 187 with neurological symptoms, treat the patient with intramuscular hydroxycobalamin three times a week until no improvement. This is usually um, around two weeks. Then continue um, intramuscular injection every two months lifelong. If the level is between 150 and 187 and the patient has no neurological symptoms, this is borderline level and it would be useful to do MMA with elevated level suggesting deficiency at tissue level. Offer patient oral cyanocobalamin for four weeks and then repeat blood tests again at three months. If the level of B12 is low still at that point, offer patient uh, intramuscular hydroxocobalamin and then repeat uh, injection every three months. If the deficiency of vitamin B12 is diet related, ask patient to buy oral cyanocobalamin and continue lifelong. If the patient has macrocytic anemia, it is always useful to check for um, pernicious anemia with um, intrinsic factor antibodies. For those patients with low vitamin B12 of less than 150 with no neurological symptoms, offer patient intramuscular hydroxocobalamin three times a week for two weeks then continue intramuscular hydroxocobalamin every three months lifelong. Thank you for watching this video and why don't you check out other videos I made such as the one I made about HRT. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my GP Team Academy channel and until next time.